Hi, this is Sarah from The Blogging Bunch, and today I want to show you how to add a printable to your blog post. So, let's get started. First, you want to open up PowerPoint, and you want to create your printable in PowerPoint because, as you can see, I created a printable on how to add a printable. <laughs> We're going to file save as and look here, we can save it as a PDF and the bonus of this is that no one can um, can edit it or anything. How to add a printable to your post. Alright, now I need to put it someplace that I can find it and I've got a tutorials folder on here somewhere. All right, how to add a printable. It's a PDF. I'm going to save that. All right. There's my PDF. Yay. Um, while I'm here, uh, oh no, I'm going to, next I'm going to upload the PDF to Google Drive. So I'm going to go to my Google and get into Drive here. And then I am going to upload a file and is on the desktop. It's under tutorials. Click on that. Open. There it is. It's adding it in. Maybe. Come on. It's thinking. This is the problem with real time. Sometimes real time is slow time. Oh no seems to be stuck. Doesn't make for a quick how-to video if it's stuck in Google Drive. <laughs> okay, don't know why it was being so difficult there, but I did finally get it uploaded to Google Drive. So here we have our printable is here in my printables folder in Google Drive. And um, I want to open it, make sure it's there, how to add a printable to your post. There it all is. Okay. Um, and I am going to, let's see. I'm going to hit, I'm hitting control and the minus sign, okay, to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to hit control print screen because I want a picture of that whole entire file. Now I'm going to hit Control plus and make it bigger again, make my screen bigger again. Okay, I'm going to go open paint and I'm going to hit Control V and I'm going to paste my whole entire file in there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So then I'm going to hit select and I am going to select this whole picture and crop and there I have a very small picture of my printable. Let's resize it maybe to 75% so that it fits um, nicely on my blog post and then I am going to move this thing out of the way. I need to go up and save as a JPEG and I want to put it in my tutorials folder here tutorials and this is my how to add a printable to your blog post okay and it's going to save it as a gn a png you can save it as a jpeg um doesn't matter save okay so now we're going to click out of here and I'm going to go to my blog post. Here's my blog post, how to add a printable to your blog post. Click inside the area. I'm going to add media, upload a file, select the file, and um, on my desktop I need to go back to my tutorials folder. Oops, not Elmo. Tutorials, and I need to find the JPEG. So um, let's see. Here's the one. See, it has a little picture next to it. And we're going to open the file. It's everything that we have in our. Okay, so I have the title over here. I'm going to Control A to select all, Control C 
to copy and then go down to alt text and control V to um, add in, make sure my alt text says the exact same thing as my title. It's centered, insert it into the post. Takes it a minute. Okay, so there's my printable. There's a picture of my printable. But I want it to be clickable so that when people click on it, it takes them straight to the Google Drive document. Um, so we're going to click on that little mountain there and go back to my printables. Here's my printable. And I want to share it. Here's my link. I'm going to control C on that link and I'm going to change this. It says private. I'm going to change this to anyone with a link can access it. All right. And I'm done. Let's go back to my blog and I'm going to see this where it says link URL. I'm going to hit the beginning. I'm going to control A and then I'm just going to control V to paste in my Google document and update. And now, let's see. We can preview our post. Maybe. And there's our blog with our post. And when I click on it, see how I've got a little hand. I click on it and it takes you to the Google document. Isn't that cool? So that's a quick, easy way to add a printable to your post. Um, then you don't have to upload it to your files and on your hosts, on your cPanel and any of that stuff. You just link it to the Google Drive and set it just so that they can see anybody with that one link. All right, I hope this helps you create some free printables. Let us know. Um, you can always find us at thebloggingbunch at gmail.com. Thanks. Have a great day.